A new preview feature appeared in October. It's an add-in for PowerPoint that allows you to control all your embedded Power BI elements that have been put into your PowerPoint deck. It really can save quite a bit of time. I'll talk you through exactly how you can embed different elements, including just single visuals, and then how Power BI Controller can help you organize and maintain those elements. All right, let's go. So the first thing you do is you go to the insert menu and you insert a Power BI element, like a page or even a single visual. I'll show you how to do that as well. So Power BI, and it'll ask you to paste a URL. So, so I'll just grab that in a second, but it also gives you some recommended options. Um, but the easiest way to do it is just go to your browser, copy the URL from the report, and then go back into PowerPoint and paste it in. Interesting, this little checkbox, give people automatic access to this data. So I'll mention about that in a second. So once it's inserted, if somebody with permission to view the report opens this PowerPoint deck, they will be able to see the report. If you share this PowerPoint deck with somebody you haven't given access to, the visual just gets crossed out, they don't see anything. So it's still secure, which is pretty cool. So that's adding you know, that in and again, it is fully interactive, tooltips work, everything works, okay. It does what you think it should do. Um, you can even add an individual um, visual. So let me show you this one. So if I come here, let me go to, uh, let's go to the this one here, okay. I would just wanna add this little chart into my PowerPoint deck. Now it's, I don't know why they put it here, but it's under, share, open in PowerPoint, okay? So I'm gonna go click on this. It gives me this link. I'm just gonna copy that link, go back into PowerPoint, and again, go to Power BI. And when it asks for the URL, I'm just gonna paste it and insert it. And then that one visual is in there as well, okay? So maybe this is your sort of master report. You've got a couple of different high level things coming into the into the PowerPoint deck. Right, then this thing, the Power BI Controller. Okay, so on the Home tab, I've got this add-in, Power BI Controller Preview. Just be careful using preview features. You know, they can just be turned off in the future. Whether you rely on them or not, I don't know. It, it's hit and miss. Um, okay, how do you even get that? Well, I go to add-ins here and search for Power BI Controller. Power BI, okay, Con and it should be under here, Power BI controller, okay. Right, so with that open, and let me just click save, because I think it asks me to save sometimes, I can now select whether all these, so change view mode, whether I want them all to be live or secure snapshots, in which case they are just non-clickable snapshots, but again, they'll only show up for someone who has access to the report, or I can change them all to public snapshots, in which case anyone could open this PowerPoint deck and see the visuals. They can't interact with them, they're just snapshots. But it's lovely to be able to do it all in one hit for all three pages. So let's say I said secure snapshot, click apply, okay. It's having a little think. They should all, in essence, be set. Okay, and you can see down the bottom here, now it's changed a snapshot. You could previously go through and change these individually. Okay, but it was just a bit of a pain, especially you've got six, seven, eight of these. and trying to remember you've got all of them done. So this is lovely, okay? Or you can change it back, okay, for all three items. So maybe next month, I just quickly switch to live data, click apply. All my visuals would update with the latest data per Power BI, which is brilliant. And then once it had done it for all of them, they're all switched, I could then come back and go, okay, I'm happy now. And I could switch it back to snapshot. Way easier than all that sort of linking and stuff. And yeah, it's pretty good. I really like it. Also with this, you could go reset, 
which I'm not really sure. Um, sure you'd like to sync with Power BI view. Okay, so it just syncs back, reset the view only. Okay, cool. Apply. Perfect. And we've got it. It just it just works. I really like that feature. But I think it's a really nice, simple feature that will add a lot of benefit. So there you go. That's it. Hope you find that useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for supporting the channel. And I'll catch you in the next video. Before I go, a very quick shout out to the new members. So Austin, Marius, Earl. So thank you to you for joining and thank you to the existing members who do continue to support the channel. Really appreciate it. Hope you continue to enjoy the content. And once again, thanks very much.